until you had time to watch the short movie about him. I'm going to show you how to do a ballerina and a basketball player. Edgar Dega liked to do, uh, look at motion and he liked to do a lot of sketching. So we will, we will start by sketching. So you're going to need a pencil. Um, we're going to get the effect um, with oil pastels for sort of the impressionist look. And we're going to use watercolour for the background. Okay, so we're going to start by looking at our ballerina. Edgar Dega spent a lot of time in dance studios just looking at dancers and figures. He liked motion. He liked to look at how people's bodies moved. So we're going to start with the ballerina. Um, you will need your paper portrait in front of you, not landscape. I'm only showing you an, an idea um, of how to draw a ballet dancer. If you have another way of drawing, you can also do that. So I'm going to do something very basic using simple shapes. I'm going to start off by doing the head somewhere in the middle and I'm using my sketching pencil. Don't worry too much about erasing, okay? I'm just going to give her some hair, maybe a little bun. And then these are her shoulders. We're looking down on her, so I'm not going to do a neck. I'm just seeing her shoulders going out. And then the top part of her dress, these are little straps of her dress that will go round and down. This is the top of her body. Then I'm going to do her arms so that they're going out to the side. I'm trying to keep simple shapes and those are her hands. I'm not even going to draw the whole hand because I'm not very good at drawing hands. Okay, and this is the other arm going out. Arms are always longer than you think. Okay, that's her arm. Now I'm going to draw her belly to, to her dress that goes around. So I'm just going to start near the wrist, near the end of the arm, and I'm just going to make a line that goes round and round the back. I'm going to finish it off by making the curve go the other way. Okay, so now I'm going to draw her legs. I'm going to come down the front. One leg she's standing on is coming down here. And then I can put her foot there. And then her other leg is going to be up behind her. If you find it easier to turn your paper around to do that, that's what I'm going to do. I find it easier to draw her leg like that. And I can do her foot going out that way. Because it's a sketch, don't worry too much if you make little mistakes and you're going to colour right on top of them. Okay, I haven't added any features on her face yet because I want to add them after I have coloured. I will start by colouring all the skin parts that I can see with my skin colour path but you can use whatever you have if you had colored pencils or crayons markers whatever works for you so anything that's skin color I'm gonna start to color and then I will add the features So now I'm going to just add the little eyes. I'm going to make them close because it's easier to draw. And the little eyebrows, the nose, and the mouth. It's just an impression of it, right? He was an impressionist, so we're giving a little idea or an impression of how it looks. Then you can continue to color, choose any colors you like for her dress. Um, we don't want to color really hard for this one. We want to make it look like it's uh, kind of fuzzy almost, like impressionist day looks. I'm not pressing really hard. I'm actually using the side of my crepe. And you can even use two colors 
on top of each other when you press lightly. You'll continue to color Maybe this part I'll make a little darker so it stands out. I'm going to give her some hair. Oh. I forgot the ears, so I'm going to add little ears on there and color them. Okay, so once you have it all colored and it will look something like this you can paint your background in any color you like now i'm going to show you how you can make a very simple uh, basketball player using simple shapes something like this i have chosen the back view for my basketball player just because i thought that would be easier to draw but again you can choose to draw any action you like. Maybe you play a different sport, maybe you play soccer, maybe you play tennis, um, and you can show that for your motion Edgar Dega picture. Okay, so my basketball player, again, I'm gonna start with his head, sort of oval shape around here. I'm gonna do his the back of his shirt, diagonal line for his shoulders. This is for his arm, and it's like a big rectangle almost. Simple shapes, we can break it down. These are his shorts. And then his legs. If I want to give motion, I can make them bend to make it look like he's moving. His arm is gonna come from here. and then go up. I've got one side of his hand, or fingers, and his thumb. The ball is going to be in here. His other arm is up here. And his other hand is there, and then the ball is right in the middle. So we know that he's shooting. I'm going to put the basketball net over here. It's a little oval. And then some lines for the net. Okay, so that's his basic shape. Maybe I'll give him a little number on his back. He can be number 15. And again, you're gonna color in the same way that we colored our ballet dancer. You're gonna be using crepas or cranes, whatever you have to color lightly. A good trick that I normally do is to outline the thing I'm colouring first and the colour I'm colouring it so that I don't go out of the lines. And then you're using the side of your crepa to colour. Okay, if you want to practice sketching figures before you do that, you can. And I can't wait to see how your motion Edgar Dega pictures look.